for Utah's most accurate forecast with Alana Brophy, weather rate certified 11 years in a row. Cold and fairly quiet as we head into tonight, but another significant storm is setting its sights on the Beehive State, Bryce Canyon, actually one of the areas now under a winter storm watch. Issued today, this will go into effect on Sunday morning. The Southern Mountains going to get walloped by wintry weather. An atmospheric river connection will bring in heavy snow, one to two feet expected, and we are going to see that heavy snow over a period of days. Also expecting those impacts to the valley. That storm system will arrive on Sunday with the wet weather, but we're going to notice the changes into tomorrow with the winds and cloud cover. Our rain will turn to snow with travel impacts as we head into the overnight Sunday into Monday. And then that heavy mountain snow, it means business. Awesome shot of the moon from Jason Heeman. Snap that in Layton where we had those clear conditions, but yeah, not clear anymore. Here comes the cloud cover satellite radar shows our exiting system that grays northern Utah today. High pressure briefly sets up as we roll into Saturday, but changes on the way and they mean business. Temperatures dropping from the 30s into the 20s as we head to the overnight for the Wasatch Front. We've already seen some 20s in our mountain locations and that includes Bryce Canyon. So we've got a trough that's going to move on inland and it's already by tomorrow morning impacting the coast with heavy rain, flooding potential and heavy mountain snow. We are going to funnel that atmospheric river connection into the Beehive State by the afternoon. We get increasing cloud cover and the winds will pick up but then by the evening here it comes. We're dragging that moisture with the help of the jet stream into Utah. And that's why central and southern Utah will see those heavy mountain snow impacts. Okay, northern Utah also going to see the impacts. By Sunday, we're dealing with wind, rain, and then eventually snow as we head to the overnight hours. That's why that's on the low risk. But travel impacts start low, and then they're going to amp up. Several commutes will be impacted by this storm system, which is a large one. Okay, by high pressure, let's watch as this comes in. Cloud cover, there it is. By noon, you're going to notice it. Here comes the front, and all of that is going to head our way. We get southwesterly flow ahead of the front behind the front cold air, which will assist in moving that rain to snow, which we're going to see heaviest snow expected Sunday evening into Monday morning. And then we get showery, but the snow showers will linger Monday through Tuesday. Here we are by 10 a.m. You can see the Wasatch front impacted here. We will be dealing with accumulations, cold temperatures to follow. And even by 10 p.m. over I-15, we still have snow falling. So again, showery activity expected on Monday, lingering into Tuesday with the possibility of some lake enhancement. There we are at 7 a.m. The model picking up on that. We're still far out, but we'll keep you posted as this storm evolves. But unsettled through next Wednesday, 40s for tomorrow, though. So tomorrow is the calm, I guess you could say, before the storm with those daytime highs close to average. 20s, 30s, and 40s in eastern Utah. The basin is socked in, so a heads up there. 40s for the I-15 corridor. We've got 50s down there in St. George. Enjoy the dry conditions. They don't last. Find your city in the north. Mountain valleys making it into the mid 30s, low 40s in Tooele, overnight lows in Ogden getting cold at 25. Central Utah has a mix of teens and then daytime highs in the upper 30s and low 40s. Down south, 40s on the Four Corners area. Bryce Canyon will be cold with the single digits. We have daytime highs just slightly below seasonal norms in the southwest corner of the state. St. George actually is average at 54, but then that changes. We roll into Sunday. The rain fills in, and it will be heavy at times. Heading into the overnight, Sunday into Monday, with that cold air filtering in, we could see some snow mix in, even in Washington County. Daytime highs drop into the 30s, giving you an idea that cold air will stick around, even though the snow has moved on. We go from the 40s to the 20s. Brutal. Brutal daytime highs Wednesday through Friday. We're going to be way below average, struggling to make it to freezing. And again, a very unsettled pattern taking hold with our next significant storm impacting the end of your weekend and into next week. To stay on top of any changes, because we know we're going to be tracking this closely, just download that ABC4 Weather app. It's really easy to do. You take a picture of this. It's a QR code that takes you to the App Store. You can download for free, and that way we can be there for you.